In this video, I'll describe ECGI concepts, how to create an ECGI record, and create an LTE network using the Ruckus LTE AP Management Portal. Before adding an LTE network, let's explain the relationship between a Public LAN Mobile Network ID, abbreviated PLMN ID, and the EUTRAN Cell Global Identifier called ECGI. The Public LAN Mobile Network is composed of a Mobile Country Code, MCC, and a Mobile Network Code, MNC. This is equal to something called the Shared Home Network Identifier, SHNI. This is six decimal digits. This is also synonymous with the PLMN ID. The ECGI is composed of the Shared Home Network ID, plus the Macro Enode B ID, which is 20 bits, plus a cell ID of 8 bits. The ECGI is a globally unique identifier for an LTE cell or sector comprised of HNI and cell identity. Cell identity includes the macro enode B ID. When configuring an LTE network, you need to add one or more ECGI records. These records must be added on a tenant level. The ECGI records will be unique per PLMN ID and macro enode B ID. This uniqueness is cross-tenants. This means that when multiple Ruckus customers purchase the LTE AP Management Portal Network solution, which includes the Ruckus EPC, SAS, and SMS, these records will be shared between them. You must purchase the macro enode B IDs from CBRS-A. Each ECGI record will support up to 128 LTE APs. Ruckus has purchased 10 ECGI records for our private LTE customers for a total of 1,280 LTE APs. The cell ID allocation for the APs is managed in a centralized database and the ECGI records are added on the LTE admin menu. Let's look at the three types of networks using a PLMN ID of 315010. If you purchase the Ruckus Private LTE AP Management Solution, which includes the EPC, SAS, and SMS, a Shared Home Network ID, or PLMN ID, of 315010 will be automatically set when configuring LTE networks. The Macro Enode B will be used from a pool of Macro Enode B numbers purchased by Ruckus. Refer to the Network and SAS Guide for instructions in selecting ECGI records. If you're using a BYON solution, which means you're using the Ruckus LTE Management Cloud at APs, but not the Ruckus EPC, SAS, or SMS, and you're using a PLMN ID of 315010, a macro enode B ID will be required to transmit. You'll need to get this macro enode B from MC Admin, and the URL for that is on the screen. So you would contact them and then you would purchase your macro enode B IDs from them. If you're using the Ruckus Private LTE AP network and the PLMN ID is not 315010, the ECGI configuration becomes an optional choice. If not configured, the LTE AP management system will create one automatically and allocate it to the AP. So let's look at how we add an ECGI record before configuring an LTE network. To add an ECGI record, I would go to the Administration tab and I would click on ECGI Records. As you can see here, we already have one record. There is a macro enode B number and I have masked that out since that is a proprietary number. At this point in time, it says the available ECGIs are 128, which means that I can have 128 access points associated with that macro enode B ID. To add an ECGI record, I would click on Add ECGI Record. I'm going to take the default name. The PLMN ID is 315010, and then it asks me to put in the macro enode B ID. Now, if you purchase the Ruckus LTE AP Management Portal, they include the EPC, the SAS, and the SMS, I'm going to show you where you would get that number. If you were just using the BYON solution, then you would have gone to the MC website, you would have contacted them and you would have gotten your own macro enode B ID. So in this case, I'm going to put in a fictitious macro enode B and I'm going to click save. And it'll say creating the ECGI record. And now we have two records. We have record one and record two and both of these have 128 available ECGIs. 
So now it's time to add our first LTE network. So if I go to Networks, and I'm going to select Add Network, and I'm going to select LTE Networks, and the first thing I'm going to do is to give the LTE network a name. Now for naming convention, Ruckus has provided a document called the Private LTE Network and SAS Configuration Guide. And to get that document, go to the Ruckus Support site. You would scroll down to the Ruckus LTE solution. Then you would go to Technical Documents. And here we have the Ruckus Private LTE Network and SAS Configuration Guide. So you would go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded that. So for naming conventions, if I'm going to click on that document, I'm going to scroll down, and I have a table here. And that table gives me a suggested name. Then suggested names would be Ruckus EPC East, Ruckus EPC Central, and EPC West. Now since this is proprietary information, I have masked out some of the information on here. But this lists the PLMN ID, the MME IP address, the security gateway IP address, tracking number, physical cell number, and some other information here. But this is where you would get that information if you are a Ruckus customer. So back on our LTE, I'm going to put in the name of Ruckus EPC West, since I'm on the West Coast. And as a note, an LTE network can be applied to multiple venues and APs, and typically only one network is required for most customers, unless in a testing phase with multiple network vendors, or you need to use different Ruckus networks according to geographic locations of the venues for optimal performance. Next is the PLMN ID. So if you purchase the Ruckus LTE AP Management Portal, it would automatically populate this with 315010. Also, if you had to bring your own network solution that did not include the Ruckus EPC, SAS, and SMS, you could also use this PLM ID, but you would have to provide your own macro enode B IDs. And you could also put in a different value if you had another PLM ID value that you wanted to use. Next is the Mobility Management Entity IP address. Ruckus has their own proprietary IP addresses for East, Central, and West. So I'm going to put in the West IP address. And the last two digits of this, in this case, is a 69. Now, in this case, as soon as I put in that 69, notice that something else pops up down here. What showed up is that it says that you're configuring a Ruckus Private LTE EPC network. So that IP address was associated with a Ruckus Private LTE EPC network. If there was a different IP address, this would not have shown up. Now, what you're going to do is select your ECGI records. So under the ECGI records, I can select record one or record two. Since record two is bogus, I'm going to select record one. It shows me that my available ECGI is 128. This means that I could install up to 128 LTE access points. All Ruckus customers will be using these values. So if you add an ECG record and you have less than 128, it means that another customer has used some of these. So this is a common pool that Ruckus has purchased to cater to all of our private LTE customers. And it's not unique per tenant or customers. And if, if we need to buy more in the future, Ruckus will buy more and the list will be updated. So now I have this window here that says see more. It says that you are configuring Ruckus Private LTE EPC network. Please make sure sufficient ECGI records are defined. All right. If I click on more here, it shows me the ECGI records. And in this case, there are 10 of those. And I've masked these out for confidential reasons. So this is where I got the hexadecimal value when I created my ECGI record. So there were 10 of those. Next, I would have my LTE security gateway on. So I'm going to put in my security gateway. And if you're a Ruckus customer, then that would come from the private LTE and SAS configuration guide. So I've put in my security gateway. PKI is off. I have a tracking code, and I'll enter that. And the physical cell range, that's also on the private LTE and SAS configuration guide. And the last thing is my EPC VLAN. And as a note, the EPC VLAN is an advanced feature and should be left blank unless there is IT assistance and the local LAN has dedicated VLAN support configured for EPC traffic separation. So now I've set up my network. The next is to assign it to a venue. So I'll click on Next. And the venue that we have, we only have one venue here. So I'm going to turn that on. And then I'm going to select Create. And that'll create the network. Activating the network on the venue. 
and now we have our Ruckus EPC West network. And notice that we have our network ID, which is our PLMN ID of 315010. So if I click on that, that'll give me detailed information just to verify that we did put in the information that we wanted to. And if for some reason I wanted to edit that network, I could click on Edit, and we could go through and edit that network. So I'll cancel that. So as you can see, creating a private LTE network using the Ruckus LTE AP management portal is not difficult, but you must understand the concepts of ECGI records and the availability of ECGI APs within the pool of macro eNode B parameters as you configure your LTE network. Remember, if you have purchased a Ruckus Private LTE Network Services bundle from us, your macro eNodeB IDs are provided for a PLM ID of 315010. If you're configuring a BYON solution and using a PLM ID of 315010, you'll be using your own macro eNodeB IDs that you purchased.